Hey guys, I officially competed this past Saturday, June 4th, at exactly 11 months postpartum on stage. Hi, this is me, Bonnie. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I'm feeling, how I did the show, my transformation from almost eight months postpartum to show day, my eats the night of the show, the day after the show, my weight changes so far each day, and also my ab check, my plans for eating. Uh, also, super excited about my new fitness plans. Uh, it was actually a different than what I thought after speaking to Coach Otto, uh, Kim Otto, who is one of the best in the industry. He's like the coach to all the Miss Olympic. First, I am so much happier now. You have no idea. I'm like on cloud nine. No more stress. No more going to the gym for three hours. No feeling depleted and just, oh my God, I just feel so happy and I've been able to eat so many amazing things and still not get fat and totally have a strategy there. So that's number one. So I competed in two different classes, Masters 35 plus, and in two years I'll be doing Masters 40 plus, and I also did the open class where everyone can compete, including their 20 year olds, etc. And of course, there's Masters divisions because it is harder to uh, get in shape when you're older, and also major disadvantage coming postpartum. But I have good news and bad news. Good news is I placed in Masters. I got third. Uh, my little. <laughs> Medals right here, third place, Masters Bikini, 35 plus. Um, I wish I got cooler trophies. I, I mean, I've seen things like Thor statues and swords or Thor hammer. Anyways, uh, so with the Masters, since I was in two different classes, they don't actually let you do the full routine twice, otherwise the show would take forever. So I did my full posing routine and it was so fast. I actually messed up at the end, I don't know how, because they called the other person and I got messed up and you know, I also changed, I had like four changes to my posing routine like one week out from the show and something's minor, but instead of just raising my hand, I kind of did this at the end, <laughs> whatever. Um, and when they make you line up to do the comparisons, usually if they keep you in the center, that's good news. If they move you around and move you to the sides, it means you're not doing as well. So luckily I did stay pretty much near the center. Like here's the center and I was right next to it, but they never moved me in the middle. Uh, but I just stayed in my position and they moved other people around. So I was like, this is, this is potentially good news. And so I did end up getting third place. So super happy about that. I'm glad I got something after all this dying, right? Um, however, for open, I did not do as well. And it was really like, Oh, because they have first call outs and second call outs. So usually the first call out is when they call the competitors to line up. And usually the winners are in the first call out, not the second call out. And as they're reading off all these names, I didn't hear my number, 137, which I thought, oh, oh lucky Chinese number also, right? But nope. So I was just like, oh my God, I, I didn't get first call outs, which was really, I don't know, defeating. I don't, I don't know what word that was because I'm... The last three times I competed, I got first call outs and I qualify nationally. So it was like, what? I didn't even make the first call outs. It was so horrible, such a horrible feeling. And then during second call outs, they uh, actually kept on moving me and I got all the way into like the middle area. So I, I so that means I did probably the best out of the second call outs, but it was the second call, it's not the first. So anyways, I did not place at all for open. Uh, and I did feel a little better after I actually met the head judge, uh, Steve Weinberger. So I took a photo with him and asked him for feedback. It, he said, you look great. It was definitely my waist uh, that was my downfall. And it's just, if you look at these girls, like their waists are super, super tiny. And I'm 11 months postpartum and also coming from figure, like there's just no way my waist is gonna be that tiny. And I mean, I try to like, you know, I lost a lot of water weight the last week and everything, but it's just, it's just not gonna happen. So I thought to myself, maybe I'm just not a figure girl, but more news on that once I tell you my plans and what uh, my coach said. So I'm super, super happy with how I did, especially 
11 months postpartum, right? I gotta remind myself that. Like I did just have a baby. My coach said it takes time for clearly your waist to shrink. Uh, and these girls are also super tiny. So I started at what was 154.6 pounds at 14 weeks out to the show at almost eight months postpartum. I was on stage at 126.4 pounds crazy so I lost 28 pounds and 126.4 is so tiny like I haven't been in that since college because my pre-pregnancy maintenance weight was around 147 pounds so I lost massive amounts of muscle I do feel super tiny like look how tiny I am very small and skinny skinny I don't like the word skinny uh, but very lean so I will flash photos of my progress, hopefully week by week, and the weight progression. And weight loss is not linear, guys, because in the beginning, I remember I like not, my weight just didn't budge, but I knew I was doing everything correctly. And lo and behold, I definitely got down to like 10% body fat compared to how my body looked in the other shows. Uh, bikini has definitely evolved to be <laughs> super, super lean now, not like when I last competed six years ago. celebrate went to K-Town, Koreatown, Manhattan, and ate Korean barbecue. So all the yummy marinated kalbi and skirt steak beefs and spicy pork, all the little sides that it's just like continuously, you know, uh, unlimited sides and seafood pancake and kimchi pancake, which I'm actually very surprised I like kimchi pancake because I don't like kimchi. Uh, I actually felt like I ate a little bit more than I than I should have because I it's not like I didn't eat anything throughout the day I still ate all my diet foods oh and also I forgot to tell you the day before and the day of the show I actually got to eat steak I haven't had steak for like four months it was amazing and white rice oh my god the day before it was so amazing well, actually you know that's that's a lot I did actually eat steak during my wedding <laughs> that was freaking amazing even without the sauce which I, I still have to do a video on my wedding update by the way and how I did all that during prep three weeks before the show um, and so after that, this place actually didn't have dessert, which was surprising. And plus, Asian desserts are not all that great usually anyway. But we did find a place that had this uh, Korean cheesecake. And cheesecake is generally not my dessert of choice because I feel like the calories are so dense it's really not worth it. But it was actually pretty darn good. It was like Basque cheesecake and we got matcha version which I didn't care for. So I actually ate a good, monk, a good amount of cheesecake which... So I went a little overboard. It was like I was a little more than stuffed and I was like ooh. But um, the next day I gained basically four pounds. I was a hundred... what was it? 130.6 pounds uh, so gained exactly 4.2 pounds in one day but I'm sure that's also a lot of you know water weight etc uh, ab check did my ab check this is like how I check and see if I'm getting fat or how lean I am and it was still okay and then the next day I did a, a so so excited for my workout and just lifting heavy even though I was thinking lifting heavy in my head my body didn't agree with me and I did videotape that which I will share my next video along with bikini abs it was very interesting to see how weak I was but uh, I, I basically tried to do five by five for everything um, and I swore to myself that I'm basically not doing cardio again for another two years until I compete again I'll, I'll say a little bit more on that later but I ended up doing cardio by uh, I ran to brunch I had to run to brunch I was trying to run that's the only time I did cardio uh, so brunch was amazing 
my favorite place near Bryant Park is called this place called La Dress. It's like New American, also has some Russian influence. Sam and Eggs Benedict. There was also Uni Eggs Benedict. Um, there's s some steak. Two different burgers with Gruyere cheese and cheddar cheese. Their mushroom flatbread, super freaking amazing. Uh, what else do we have? And we also had like all tons of dessert. The chocolate envy dessert, which uh, I, I love. My favorite dessert is chocolate mousse. This had chocolate cake in it, but I actually didn't mind it at all. So freaking good. And this rake uh, Russian dessert and this like chocolate light mousse passion fruity dessert and uh, compliments of the manager since I've eaten there a little too many times. Uh, sour, sour cream layer cake. I have no idea, but it wasn't all that great. Anyway, anyways. So massive brunch and at night I ate some diet foods. I still had some leftover baked chicken with just seasonings. By the way, I, I forgot to mention, but like the last week, because of the water strategy and the water pill and no sodium, et cetera, et cetera, I ended up losing like two and a half pounds in just one day. So the fact that I jumped up to four pounds the day after was definitely just a lot of that water weight. And then after this brunch and healthier eating at night, I uh, weighed I dropped weight actually the next day I was 129 pounds and that day I ended up eating basically all my regular foods that I eat but more so instead of only one fourth cup of oatmeal I had half a cup of oatmeal so good I love my pasty oatmeal and instead of just egg whites I haven't had a single whole egg this entire prep can you believe it I had two whole eggs plus egg whites. Uh, I had my rice cake still. My favorite eat this entire time every day has been rice cakes with avocado on top. <laughs> and uh, I'm still eating the salt only rice cakes, but the ones that I love is the everything bagel flavor rice cakes and the white cheddar rice cakes, which I'll, I'll eat that once I run out of the, the bland stuff. And so um, instead of two ounces of avocado on top of this rice cake, I had the whole half av avocado. And uh, I forgot to take a picture of this, but I also had like 10 ounces of grilled chicken and I ate the rest of my bleh, asparagus. I like, I'm not gonna eat asparagus ever again. That's like such a diet food for me, I hate it. And so I ate all these good eats because, oh, and I had a few pieces of cashews, which are my favorite nuts, only a few. If you know my past story, I used to be able to eat like entire cans of cashews, 2,000 calories in one sitting. So now, thank God it's not an issue for me anymore. So I did have a few cashews. Um, I also got this uh, ch white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. After brunch, there was a street fair and I really, really wanted funnel cake, but I was like, no, I just ate like massive amounts of food here and like th four different desserts. So this fresh, eh, tasted like, it's, it was like an actual, husband said it was like an almond cookie. So I only had like a bite, disgusting. Anyways, didn't want to waste my calories for something that wasn't worth it. And instead I had my wedding cake that I froze from Ferrara's. Uh, it was strawberry shortcake, which is amazing. That's my like second favorite dessert plus a raspberry cream And I was like this is a lot of cake and there was also another one with this decadent dark chocolate uh, Filling and also cannoli cream. I ate a little bit of that and then I was like I'll eat like maybe half of this this uh, strawberry shortcake uh, raspberry, you know cake. I ended up eating the whole container <laughs> Definitely a little too much, but it was just so good so uh, I woke up today, 129.2, and with these abs, so it's all good. Um, this week, I am gonna eat like home cooked foods. I, I'm so looking forward to my lean ground beef burger. I haven't had beef pretty much, right? And like my husband's salmon, oh my God, he makes the most amazing salmon, and like carbonara, and uh, uh, he cooks a lot of Italian and French stuff, and uh, chicken uh, marsala, oh my God. Anyway, so because I, I gotta do home cooked meals throughout, throughout the week and also incorporate some of my diet foods, uh, because I literally have restaurant uh, reservations planned every single week, if not like more than one on the weekends. So I'm trying to plan that out. I'm talking a lot about food, but it's been very exciting. That's like my most exciting thing that I've uh, been waiting for. So anyways, uh, I'm like loving looking at menus and uh, the plan is to reverse diet. <laughs> so I know I should go back up slowly, but I was at like, less than 1200 calories. I was eating less than 10 times my body weight 
so freaking low and my maintenance was like 2500 and now I'm super tiny so it'll be interesting to see what my maintenance level is as I continue to eat a little more and more uh, so I'm, I'm essentially gonna be following my eat more reverse diet program as part of my own eat not diet program which you can check out in the link below you know diet.com slash peak body one more thing on the food so with these restaurant outings I am gonna test this series and see if you guys like it but with one of my best friends Rose who's also an eater if you guys remember her uh, we're gonna try to do a YouTube eating videos at restaurants all over Manhattan cool places you know unique eats and new restaurants and stuff like that and see you know uh, talk about how the food is and also how it fits into my eating plan um, so hopefully you guys will like that now let's talk about my exciting plans for training and competing in the future so I like being a little smaller I do like being feminine but not this tiny right so I my plan was thinking maybe I can ask the coach if I could just lift heavy and like stay with my strength sets of three to five and then do everything else you know lighter weight with more reps because I was coming in as a figure girl and I was too big so now I've kind of like slimmed down but interestingly he said I can go ahead and build muscle I was like, what? I thought I was too big, but now I'm so tiny. So it's more about building muscle strategically for that bikini look. Cause he's not into like vacuuming or those really waist trainers for a smaller waist. It's about creating the illusion and actually building a more muscular or bigger upper body. So the goals now is wider back, bigger rounder shoulder caps right because that will give you that v taper and then definitely more size in my glutes uh we get to work on glutes again and hams or glutes and hams and no weighted abs that was one thing that i've you know kind of really got confirmed to me i, I kind of knew this already but like really no weighted abs because i i used to do weighted abs because i well actually no i I'd hardly ever did abs because abs are so boring for me, right? But when I would try to do some weighted abs to get deep cuts, because genetically I don't have amazing abs, and if you build it with weighted abs, you are going to get those deep cuts. However, your abs, I mean, your waist is not going to be super tiny. So I'm going to be adding, even like my first workout, I added some body weight abs afterwards and no more than 10 pounds. So I'm going to show you my actual ab exercises that I've been doing and what I plan to do. But it's not really going to be the abs. Uh, workout that's gonna get you to be like you know super tiny it's just really illusion but I do want to work on them so that they can get more defined and nice lines right so that means I get to lift heavy and actually build muscle so super excited he said just to make sure just make sure you watch it because you can go overboard and next thing you know I'm a figure girl again so very excited to create my new workout plan uh, this week I'm just basically getting back into the gym I'm actually sore from lifting such low weights but just just getting my body back into it and then I'm going to uh, create my new workout plan super excited so my next show my plan is my personal goal is we want to have another baby so I want a baby boy it's probably as soon as possible maybe a little bit I'm I gotta enjoy the summer a little bit in my body <laughs> um, and then after the baby boy, I want to get back into regular maintenance shape and not start a prep while I'm on postpartum. So the goal then is to compete and hopefully qualify regionally when I'm 39. And then within that year, you get to go to a pro show. Uh, and then I want to compete in Masters 40 plus so that I'll be basically 40 and the youngest of that division and try to become pro. Um, because I think it's like you have to win, basically you have to win your class, right? So I feel like I have a better chance of trying to win Masters 40. Uh, and that's, so that's my plan, guys. So I'm basically, once that happens, gonna get rid of the baby weight for num baby number two. It's all the babies I, will, I, I really want. And then um, just keep competing until I become pro. And now the thing that's so exciting is I thought, you know, they didn't have a division for me, which was in between uh, figure and bikini. But uh, the pro girls, according to Coach Kim Otto, is they're actually not that small at the pro level, right? So it, I get to basically have my ideal physique, I think. Um, and I'm trying to stay a size four, because before I was a size six. So let's see what happens. 
I asked my posing coach, Angelica Texera. I mean, she is two-time Miss Olympia after all. And it turns out she competed at a size two and off season she's a size four, which is exactly what I was thinking. So I just need to make sure to stay a size four and not go back to my old size six. My next video is going to be my full workout first day after the show and also my bikini abs workout. And I still have to edit my wedding video. All right guys, that's it for my video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a like, subscribe, stay tuned. Leave me a comment down there and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you're looking to lose weight, lose fat, build lean muscle for that shapely toned look and change your body composition, improve your metabolism, then check out my Eat Not Diet's six week peak body accelerator program by going to eatnotdiet.com slash peak body.